Hello there, welcome to Swinging Seas Bargain Beer Reviews. So I call this mat in the, sh out in the shed. It's, the temperature's dropped again. Apparently we're going to have a big freeze this week. It's been raining all week. It's like gone from floods to freeze. It's, it's going to be like minus three or something tonight. And uh, snow's coming in by, by the looks of it. So driving to work is going to be fun tomorrow morning. I've had a lot of fun experiences driving to work in the last couple of weeks. But I've got a Peugeot 107 and actually it's quite nifty in snow because it's quite a light car even if you do struggle. It only takes one person to give you a little bit of a push and you're off. You're going again. So, yes. Anyway, let's get on with the beer review, shall we? So this time what I've got here, I've been, this has come from... Um, what is that? Braille for blind people at the bottom of there. I just noticed that. It's interesting. Anyway, uh, I've got this. Uh, Shell Bay... Indian Pale Ale, and it's 5%. And I got this from, uh, that size well, I'm not sure which side I do it now for the video. Um, it's got the typical Thornbridge cap. This was at Aldi, Aldi, yeah, and this came in at £1.19. It's a 3.30 bottle, so let's see what it's like. Obviously, uh, Thornbridge are known for quality, so. In fact, if you ever talk to anyone about Thornbridge beers, it's rare, they'll rarely say their beers are poor or subpar. And they're one of the original craft brewers, let's not forget, in the UK. So I've got my Brewdog glass there. So I'm not, I'm not done with trying to false advertising, by the way, with this Brewdog mark. It's just a nice glass. So there we go. It's a golden in colour. It's been filtered, you can tell that looks it's clear. It's almost like a copper colour, that, to be honest. Amber, copper colour. Smells nice enough. We've got about a finger's worth of uh, slightly off-white head at the top there. You're getting citrus notes. Almost like a slight skunkiness, but quite nice, like a uh, raw hop sort of aroma. I'm just smelling some raw hops. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, so you're getting uh, re like really citrusy lemons, lime, a little bit of grapefruit on there, a little bit of orange. Let's dive in. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. It's a very well round, well rounded, balanced beer. If you're not into IP, or if you're just getting into IPAs, this would be a really good beer to sort of start the ball rolling. It's quite well balanced. You've got a nice caramel, um, slight biscuit, malt backbone. It's not too, it's not too bitter. It's not too dry. It's not too sharp, which you do get with some IPAs. There is a sharpness to it, but like I say, it's well balanced with the malts. It's a very safe beer. It's very safe, but it's very pleasant. Uh, it's one pound nineteen a bottle, and I, I would say it's comparable to a one fifty can at Tesco's for sure. So in that respect, it's nice, but it's not going to blow your socks off. Reminds me a little bit of Jaipur actually. So on the on the flavours, you're getting a little bit more orange, more orangeness is coming through. You're getting a slight sort of pastry malting. Uh, pastryness to it actually on the multi backbone, which is quite nice. A little bit more biscuity, orange, lemon, a little bit of grapefruit. Yeah, and it's, it's just really well balanced. It's a nice beer. £1.19. Mm. Yeah, I'd get that again. It says here. The official beer, Peaky Blinders, of Peaky Blinders, the TV series. Shelby is an Indian pale ale inspired by the style of beer consumed in 1919. At the time of the Peaky Blinders, we have created the kind of IPA that might have been found behind the bar in the Garrison Tavern in Small Heath, Birmingham. Shelby pours golden amber in colour with a nose of stone fruit and red berries. Not sure about red berries. A gentle maltiness uh, on the palate and a wonderful citrusy lemon bitterness. Yeah, get the citrus and lemon. Yeah, a little bit of stone fruit on the nose as well. 
it's nice. Ticks lots, of, ticks lots of boxes. It's a very good beer for Aldi. It's on a level par with their Aldi IPA. It's on a level par with uh, some of the nicer cans they've got. I'm trying to think which one now. I'm trying to think then. Which one did I quite like that I tried the other day? Their Studio 54 were quite good. And uh, I think their Williams Brothers there. Some of the Williams Brothers stuff that they drew from. I love a par with that. The, the nice ones. Some of them are a bit poor. This is one of the better ones. Lovely laced on the glass. Dry so it's a good beer. Very nice beer. I'd like to know what you think if you've seen this beer or you've drunk it. Let me know in the comments. Pop a comment below. It's lovely laced on that glass. Yeah, it's quite traditional. It does remind me of like a bit of an old school IPA. Although it has got, it has got a little bit of a it's definitely a Cascade or a Chinook in there, I think. There's a bit of an English hop in there, I think. But not much. I would say it's more it's more continental hop forward, for sure. So whether it would have been something that you would have expected to have drunk back then, because a lot of these hops now weren't cultivated back in 1919. So I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to get a 7.9 out of 10. 7.9, not quite an 8. Not quite an 8. What would give it an 8? Um, no, oh, buggery. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10, that. It is. It's an 8 out of 10. Being pedantic there. Just an 8 out of 10. Just an excellent beer for the price, I think, that. Because it's, it's everything. It's, it's got nothing special about it. Um, it's a little bit thin. That's what it is. It, it, it is a bit thin, but... You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't drink that and think, God, I've been robbed of my money there. It's, it's pleasant. It's an 8 out of 10 beer, that. Very well balanced. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all on the next review. Bye bye.